Welcome everyone. If you've been on my YouTube channel lately, you know that I've made several Christmas and holiday cards over the past couple months, but I thought I would share with you today the actual Christmas card that my family sends out to our family and friends. I make a photo card that has some handmade touches every year, and I send about 200 of these out. This is the version I made this year. I wasn't going to share it um, on a video or on my blog, but I shared it on Instagram, some peaks of it on Instagram, and a lot of people asked for the video, so I thought I'd show you. Now, I will be on I've made 200 of these. I'm kind of done making them. So I'm just going to show you kind of the process I went through, but not actually make one of the cards. And yes, I did spend quite a bit of time making these cards, but it's really important to me and something that I really am thankful that I did every year, even if it causes a lot of panic right around the holiday time. Okay, so here is a look at the card that I sent. I almost always do a five by seven card and I almost always include a photo. So on here I have a white piece of cardstock with a photo attached to it where I've just trimmed a little of the top and the bottom off of it. And on the back of the card, I have printed some personal updates on the family. So I talk about what each person likes to play and what each person does for school and work. So now for the messages on the front where I did heat embossing on the vellum overlay, I used these stamps that I had custom created at simonstamps.com. So basically all I did was create the image of these words and I uploaded it onto their website and they create these wood um, mounted rubber stamps and they're great. It's not that expensive and I d I've done this many years in the past and I think it's uh, just a fun way to make a card personal. Now the tool that I use to really save a lot of time on these cards is the Misty stamping tool. You might have seen this in one of my previous videos. It's a very popular tool right now for stamping and it is fantastic for mass producing. The nice thing about this tool is you can use um, rubber from wood mounted stamps. You just take the rubber off or you can use clear stamps with it. And I'm actually using both today. So now when I normally use this, I take my card and I put it in the bottom corner, but today I'm going to kind of have it float up in the middle here, up against the edge, but at the eight inch mark, uh, because my rubber stamp is actually bigger than my card. So I'm lining it up with that eight inch mark every time I do this. I created one card to use as my guide, so I have it positioned right in place inside the stamping tool. Now I'm taking the rubber off that wood mounted stamp, I just peeled it off. I'm putting it exactly where I want it on my card and then closing the MISTI tool on it. And now my stamp is perfectly positioned onto my MISTI tool. So I can stamp this over and over again. So let me go ahead and create one. I have a piece of five by seven vellum here. This is actually a thick vellum. I love this thick vellum from Ellen Hudson. It's 43 pounds. I just found this and I'm really excited about it. So I have my piece. I'm going to line it up with that eight inch mark. Now I'm going to uh, put a, uh, my magnet there. You don't really have to do that if you don't want to, but it helps keep that vellum in place. I'm going to ink up my greeting here with Versamark ink, and I just close it onto my vellum, and it'll be perfectly positioned where I want it. So now what I did when I was creating my cards is I did 10 of these at once. So I went through and stamped 10 of these at once, and then I went and I put this gold tinsel embossing powder on all 10 of them at once, and then I heat set all 10 of them at once. This saves a lot of time doing it this way because your heat gun will get good and hot, so it'll quickly melt all of that embossing powder, and you'll have all 10 done at once. And I just go through and do all of them over and over again until I get all 200 done with this gold embossing powder. I really like this gold tinsel embossing powder on the vellum. I think it's really fun and nice and shiny. Now, if you don't have the Misty tool, you could just go ahead and stamp this normally, do all the stamping on maybe 10 of them, then do all the adding in the embossing powder, and then all the heat setting. Now, for the other greeting on here, I have unmounted that rubber there. I'm just going to put it exactly where I want it. I had to put some adhesive on the back of it because it wasn't sticky enough to stick to my tool position exactly where I want it, close the tool on it, and now I have it positioned. And now I can start stamping this sentiment on all of the pieces. This time I'm going to use white embossing powder. I used gold before. I like the mix of the different colors of embossing powder. So yes, it did take me some time to do the three different colors of embossing powder that I end up with, but I definitely thought it was worth it. You could have done them all in the same and saved a lot of time. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and heat set this. I always let my gun get really good and ha hot before I bring it to my vellum because I don't want to warp the vellum. But since this is a very heavy vellum, it shouldn't warp at all anyways. And by the way, when you're doing this much heat embossing, I recommend doing it over a big container because it really keeps it contained. Okay, so this is the last step that I did on the card. I did these stars. I did it the exact same way. I positioned all the stars on my card. 
Then I closed the MISTI tool onto it, and then I had them ready to go so I could stamp them all. And that time I used a blue glitter embossing powder from WOW. The stars are from a Simon Says Stamp clear stamp set. So I was able, it has a ton of little stars on the set. It's called Lots of Stars. So I was able to do all the stars at once. So now to finish off this card, I did some sewing across the top. I love to add a little bit of sewing on my holiday cards because I think it really adds to that homemade feel. This time I used a silver thread and it's really quick to just go through and do a whole line of that sewing and then move on to the next one. I don't do anything to finish off the edges. I just cut them and let it stick off. It doesn't bother me at all but it kind of holds it all together. And then that you can just lift that vellum overlay to see the photo underneath. Now to mail these cards, I used two different um, car envelopes. I used a gold shimmer and a silver shimmer, and I got them on Amazon, I'll link to those. And then I put some fun washi tape to close it up. And that's my holiday card. So it does take a little bit of time, but it's something that I really think is very important to me. Now there are many ways you could go about simplifying this design if it's something that you would wanna try next year. And there are many great stamps out there that you could use if you're not interested in creating your own. But I wanted to show you what I created since many people had asked. Now some of the products I use are linked below in my YouTube description. You can find that there. Or you can go over to my blog at jennifermcguireinc.com where I have much more information for you. And I want to wish you all the merriest of Christmases and the happiest of holidays. Thanks so much for stopping by.